Well, y'all, I figured I'd go ahead and make a video about this Roland uh, multi temporal D20 synthesizer, being that a lot of people uh, might not have the might not have the uh, owner's manual. I figure I go. I got the owner's manuals manual, so I'll go ahead and tell you a little something about it. All right. Um, in this uh, patch in Timbery, a patch in the performance mode and the Timbery in the in the multi timbral mode consists of various parameters. How the tones are played will be changed by editing these parameter values. Turn on the performance play mode, the performance and synth indicators lights up, then take the following procedure. Um, you have to hit, um, let me see, edit, part, go to part four right here, and then go to step edit. When she, once you go there, you can uh, change it. You hit the edit, you can go to patch, you can change things in pat, patch, or you can go to tone. Now, in this, in the key mode, it looks like as if this is in split. Now, a lot of times you have to go back and forth with this display button here. Here, I'm going to show you something over here on this page. On this page here, it says, select the parameter to be edited using the display buttons. Patch name, patch level, tone balance, reverb level, reverb time, reverb type, reverb switch, lower and upper, assign mode, lower, upper, bender range, lower, upper, fine tune, lower, upper, key shift, lower, upper, tone select, upper, tone select, lower, split point, key mode, all from this display right here that's where you go and start doing all your changing of how the keyboard is and this right here is a little bit it's um it's how the um how everything is set up inside of the the keyboard now over here on this page right here it says key mode split key mode split Key mode refers to how the upper and lower tones are played on the keyboard. If you have it in whole, only the upper tone is played. Using this mode for playing a piano type sound which requires many voices. Dual, both the upper and lower tones are played simultaneously. This is ideal for strings or organ type sounds. Split. The split mode divides the keyboard into the upper and lower sections where two different tones can be played simultaneously. Sometimes I will put it in split so I can play two different sounds. Uh, and the split point is C4. In the split key mode, the key where the keyboard is divided into two sections, upper and lower sections, is called the split point. The split point can be set in the range of C2 through C7 in semitone steps. The lower, lower tone select. Of course, you hit. You can hit the um, the lower or the upper. And upper, the lower or upper. And this selects the tones which are to be assigned to the upper and lower sections of the keyboard depending on which memory, internal memory or memory card. Um, they have that memory card on that Roland D20. It's a, it's a floppy. Um, mine's, last time I checked, mine didn't work, but maybe I can try again or put another um, floppy drive in, but it's that's too old school, so I don't really think so. But anyway, uh, the internal, you do have certain sounds that come on internal. But then if you got a memory card, you can, uh, of course, go to the memory card. Now over here, it says key shift. The key shift button, you can hit the lower and upper, lower and upper buttons right here. That's going to change your tone right there. 
Uh, the relative pitch of the upper and lower tones can be separately set from negative 24 to positive 24 to oct octaves in semitone steps. You can also fine tune it. You can hit the buttons right here to fine tune it the way you want from negative 50 to a positive 50. Bender range. You can go to bender range. Uh, hit these buttons here to change your bender range. It goes from um, uh, 24 and then it goes backwards. So you can make the pitch go up high or then you can make it go down real low. Uh, the assign mode, the assign mode refers to how each tone should be played by key messages received. Um, there's a single assign played with last note priority. Number two, there's a single assign played with first note priority. Number three, there's a multi assign played with last note priority. Number four, there's a multi assign played with first note priority. Now, I'm going to tell you how the um, single assign and all this is. Let me tell you exactly what it is. In this mode, when more than one key on message is received, by the same key number, the sound of that key is muted once then played again. Multi assign. In this mode, when more than one key on message is received by the same key number, two sounds are mixed. Last no priority. In this mode, when the D20 has received more than 32 key on messages, the previously received ones are replaced by the later received ones. First note priority in this mode when the D20 has received more than 32 key on messages, the later received ones are ignored, retaining the currently playing sounds. Now, this keyboard also has a reverb, reverb switch on it. You can um, turn the reverb switch on or off. Um, the reverb types, you have small room, medium room, medium room, large hall, plate, delay one, delay two, delay three, and of course you can turn the reverb off. Uh, your reverb time, your reverb level, your tone balance, your patch level, the volume of a patch can be set from zero to 100. Using this parameter, there, the volume balance between two different patches can be adjusted. And it lets you uh, put in your patch name. Um, editing procedure. Turn to the multi timbral mode. The multi timbral mo multi timbral and synth indicators lights up. Then take the following procedure. Um, number one, it says here. Um, go to number four. Then hit edit. And once you do that, of course, you do got to use these uh, buttons here, the display, up, down, and use these right here sometimes. And then what will come up is this timbre, tone, and this right here, it says tone select, but it says I-33, which is meaning internal, number 33. And then... Right here it says select the parameter to be edited using the display buttons, which was right here. Then that's when you hit reverb switch, assign mode, bender range, fine tune, uh, key shift, and tone select. And, and these are the different tones right here the internal memory card and uh, the key shift from negative 24 to negative 22 fine tune bender range right there let me see writing on the memory card tones now the now the tones. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to explain the tones to you. Uh, let me 
let, let me see what it says here. Okay, and this it says, a tone consists of four partials and a common block. The partials are combined in pairs and two pairs of partials to form a tone, an important parameter called structure decides how each pair of partials should be combined or which sound generator should be used for each partial. Common parameters are common to both tones. Number one, select a sound generator to be used for each partial. The structure selects which of the two sound generators, a synthesizer sound generator or a PCM sound generator. Synthesizer sound generator. This synthesizer behaves like a conventional analog synthesizer. PCM sound generator. This, this behaves like a PCM sample synthesizer. Three. Number two. Determines how to combine two partials. There are four different ways to combine partials. Mixing two partials. That's the deal about this synthesizer you can take like partial one and partial two together and then you put those together then you mix it and then you then it winds up creating some new different type of style I'm just going to show it to you right quick it talks about um, partials and ring modulators and all that kind of stuff here y'all see that and like on this right here it says two partials are ring modulated and sent out there's a partial one and there's a partial two and there's a ring modulator the ring modulator can be effect effectively used for creating metallic sounds since it can increase harmonics by multiplying two partials. This synthesizer is, um, there is a lot that you can do with it if you know how to use it to its potential. That's what I will say. Uh, when it comes down to doing like sci-fi type sounds, this, this machine will do it. And all kind of stuff but anyway I don't know whether or not y'all can see this right here and this is talking about the partials and this is saying the synthesizer sound generator the WG the pitch the LFO the pulse width the pitch envelope and the waveform you notice how all that's together and then you gotta have all that together and then after you do all that, then you run into this TVF, cutoff frequency, resonance, TVF envelope. And then from that, it goes to a TVA, TV, TVA envelope. And then I guess that's the output. Over here, it's a PC, PCM sound generator. It goes from pitch, LFO, pitch envelope. PCM wave and uh, then it goes from WG to TVA level TVA envelope that this is how you get some of those kind of real interesting sounds by doing all this right here that really changes the sound that's what makes makes the synthesizer very um, interesting and uh, this page is basically talking about the wave generator, TVS, time variant, filters, um, like a cutoff frequency. This sets off the cutoff point. The resonance, this emphasizes the cutoff point, making more unusual or electronic sounds. The TVF envelope, this controls an envelope curve, which changes the cutoff point caused by key on and key off. The TVA, time variant amplifier. This controls the volume of the partial uh, level. This determines the volume of the sound. TVA envelope. This controls an envelope curve of the level caused by key on and off. Okay, that this is editing procedures right here.
All right. On to the next one.